what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you with me today if you are new thanks so much for checking me out make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss another vlog i post every tuesday and friday for those of you who are new or don't know i'm also gonna link my instagram right here for you guys so make sure to follow me and check that out for more in today's video i'm doing another shein haul for those of you who may have missed last shein's haul i'm gonna link it right here for you i did it back in february um, but what's different about this one is i have a lot more items i'm gonna show you anywhere from like maybe 10 to 12 of my favorites that I got um, and the ones that worked and even some of the ones that didn't just because I want this to be realistic it's perfect for that like spring and summer kind of in between deal that we have I don't know in Ohio I'm not sure what your weather's like but in Ohio we're used to it so there's a little bit of everything in here um, stuff that ranges from workout clothes to brunch outfits to even a couple going out things I'm super pumped for it and I promise you there is something in here for everybody so let's get started okay so I'm starting with this like royal blue two-piece it is a skirt that has like a little bow here and there's also a tube top um, and what I like I think the most about this one I'm gonna tell you the sizes too as we go um, it's really tricky because I range anywhere from a medium to an extra large in Shein sometimes I even go into the curve plus um, section that they have which is awesome I always get usually like a zero sometimes even a 1x if I'm doing something that I want to fit oversized those items you'll have to find in the curve Shein like plus I don't remember what it's called Shein curve so I will make sure to let you know because you have to find it in a different section but I don't think that there is anything in here so but what I was saying is what I like the most about this top is that it's like that stretchy material um and so this is a large it stinks because I have like super big boobs if you've been with me then you know this I'm just gonna disclose this information I am like a 38 double d so it's really hard to find things especially like two pieces or sets where you have to order in the same size because a lot of times my chest or my top is bigger than my bottoms although after quarantine I don't really know about oh, my bottoms are probably catching up to me but anyways um so this fits perfectly because it stretches and when I put it on I was really nervous I was like oh is the material like gonna stretch am I gonna stretch it out is it gonna rip and the material is super nice so Shein sometimes can be like a total hit or miss I have a couple items in here that I'll point out if they're a weird material um but this was like literally one of my favorites that's why I'm doing it first um but it's got a little ruffle at the bottom and it's super cute that was definitely a hit for me next I have this super cute daisy tube top um it's navy with the yellow sunflower detailing and then I think it was also available in a different color too size 1xl so this is something that i found probably in the shein curve um so i would assume though that this is available in like all sizes i'm actually gonna link everything below anyways easier for you guys to find and then also if you don't know already um, make sure you are following me on Instagram because I always post pictures of the outfits and I link it to my Like to Know It app. Um, so if you have that app, it's just like super easy to shop and it makes it, um, in my opinion, it's the easiest way to find all of the clothes that I ever put on a haul. So this was totally another hit for me. Um, it's perfect coverage. It covers everything. It's got a nice elastic band right here and the material is nice. Next up, we have this super colorful romper that I've gotten <laughs> mixed reviews on. It is very bright, yes, and it's tie-dye. And here's the thing. I was in love with it when I got it, but then when I put it on, I was like, I don't know. I can't tell if it's too bright. I can't tell if the tie-dye isn't exactly the tie-dye that's like in currently right now but it's a really good material um when I wore it to nannying my first grader was like that looks like a bathing suit and I was like he's probably thinking cover up so honestly it is supposed to be a romper like to wear but it's definitely something that I would take the, to the beach and probably wear more as a cover up or like on a really hot day when I need something that's like kind of baggy, kind of oversized, still full coverage. I mean, it comes all the way up on the neck and even comes off the shoulder a little bit to add a little bit of, you know, oomph, but this is an extra large. So it fits perfectly, like the band here fits perfectly around my waist, um, but I would recommend sizing up if you want that off the shoulder look and it kind of just makes it a little less bland just cause it's all one piece. Next up, I was super surprised by this top. Now, before I show you what I look like in it, I love it. Okay, like I love it when I took it out of the packaging. I was like, this is far better than I expected. It's 
like these eyelets are perfectly knit good material very strong this is beautiful because it like ties in the back so it gives you a little bit of like you know you can show off your back a little bit and this elastic part isn't too big isn't too small it honestly was like i was like this is gonna be perfect this is a size large just for reference here's the problem though it gaps a little bit around the armpit and i don't know if that's a boob problem like a me problem because of my boobs um but it flattens out my chest when i tie it and you can't wear a bra with it because it has that open back. So I don't know if I just need to get probably a really good pair of sticky boobs and then it'll like have a little bit better coverage. It's awesome. Like this is, I think it's so cute. So if you have a smaller chest and God blessed you with a nice cute little body like I do not have, then I would totally recommend this. I think it's perfect for like brunch, a date night, a grad party, anything that you need to be like a little, a little like more... I don't know dressed up I guess it's not super dressy it still has like a little bit of cleavage so I'm sure somebody with a smaller chest um might be able to pull it off a little bit better I definitely could not wear this to a grab party because I'm like spilling out of it as you can tell um but just with like a pair of ripped jeans and some mules or something would be like perfect okay this is like probably my second favorite I love that the two pieces were like my top two favorites because I did not think that the two pieces were gonna work especially with what I just told you about like me being different sizes on top and bottom but this two piece is so cute so there's like the top here the only issue I had was that I don't know if it's gonna be hard to show you it's kind of uneven like the f I don't know the back band seems to be smaller than the front band if that makes any sense so it just takes a little bit of adjusting I didn't think that I was going to be able to wear a bra with this so when I first tried it on I was like this doesn't work like I can't wear a bra and my boobs don't stay up um but I actually found a strapless bra that did work so I'm wearing it um as I show it off right now and it definitely helped a lot and it made me love it like even more I'm going to show you the bottoms too perfect because it's that stretchy again material that's just like perfect for um, anyways, I don't remember if I told you this already, but I think it's a large. Okay, I'm like totally not seeing a tag, but I'm assuming it's a large. It could be an extra large though, so. But I absolutely love that. I think the pattern's super cute. I've never really seen anything like it before. Um, I love like the neutrals and the tans because that's what a lot of my shoes are. So this will go with like any of my wedges. I have a couple mules that are tan, um, booties, anything. Just like some brown sandals, you know. And then there's like the pop of color so you can add like a fun color if you want to accessorize with like shoes or earrings or something. Next up we have my biker shorts. So here is the story with the biker shorts, okay. I, <laughs> this was a trend that when it became a thing like a few months ago, I was like, you will never catch me in biker shorts. That is the one thing that you will never see me and I was like I can't get on this trend my thighs are too big I don't like the idea of having like something tight around my thighs but I also said this about skinny jeans and leggings when they first were a thing so I should have known I was gonna see myself in a pair of biker shorts sooner or later so I decided to just get the five dollar one off sheet and I'm like whatever if they don't work they don't work and I'm just gonna try and see how I like myself in them okay well I fell in love with they're so comfy and you can wear a big oversized t-shirts and it's like socially acceptable now so I'm like totally rocking it loving it but she and if you watched my last one I got a pair of like cropped black leggings that had this issue they put this like thin elastic band in the very top and it fits everywhere else but then the band is like suffocating you like at the top and I'm like why do they come up so high like I cannot figure out why some of these are manufactured that way also for reference these are a large so what I did was I went in somewhere where they're like only five bucks whatever I went in and I cut the elastic so that um because I'm telling you like the band fits it just it does not need that piece of elastic like I can my stomach does not struggle keeping them up I did not like, need that piece of elastic like suffocating me so um my friend who actually studied fashion <laughs> design was like yeah just go in and like cut it and it'll be fine whatever so it is a little you know chunky off center there's a lot of things going on up here that we really don't need to see but it's fine because I wear oversized t-shirts with them so you can't tell anyway you can tell in this little clip of me because I'm wearing a sports bra but um don't worry I will not be wearing a sports bra with these in public so speaking of that sports bra you can see the cups in these this one it's way too small this says extra large I'm telling you right now there is no way there's no way the cup size has got to be like maybe a c maybe a c definitely not a double d I'm going to tell you that right now the band is 100% not a 38 or 40 it's a zip front like you zip it in the front and I can't even like get it around me and scoop my boobs up in it to zip it that's how bad it is if you're gonna grab the sports bra I'm still gonna link it below just because one of you might 
think that you know you're, you're gonna like it and you might have um a smaller trust than me and it probably will work out because it is super cute and i've always wanted like a zip front one the mesh here at the top like it's made really well it's just way too small my suggestion with that is to size up this is an extra large and i think it fits more like a medium that's just my suggestion all right um again last year haul you saw me open a pair of these in gray i have lived in them ever since i absolutely love them so i went on and ordered them in purple just because i don't have a purple pair of leggings um these are super super nice super comfortable um and they squeeze everything that needs to be squeezed they're super thick they don't fall down if you're running or working out and they're perfect to like match with things so i thought i'd pick up a fun color since i already have the gray neutral and loved them but i definitely like the two-toned but these are a size large but here's the here's the weird part okay the gray ones are a large these are the exact same when they're a large these fit a little bit smaller now you might say well danny you probably just like gained weight since february wait these amazing suckers are the exact same in camo they're also a large and they fit so well so it's like what size am I this is like so tricky so if you're gonna do the purple size up if you're gonna do the green camo which is honestly these are my favorite these are so cute I did not think that I was gonna like love them as much as I do these are definitely one of my favorites if you're gonna do the camo then just go size as normal like whatever you would normally prefer and then if you're gonna do the gray because they also have them in gray do your normal size because the gray and the camo fit me great they're larges I'm usually a large in bottoms but those purple ones for some reason are just like super tight. I don't know if mine were just made weird or what the deal is. But the thing that I love the most about these camo ones that the purple ones don't have is this cinch right here in the butt. So I think it makes your butt look good, which is always helpful. Next up, we have a going out top. So I love this top. I got so many compliments on it. I actually wore it out last Saturday night. I'm going to link my picture right here for you guys um, because I'm actually wearing a full strap on bra with it. And I like it a lot better than the one I'm wearing in this clip where it's like uh, strapless just because obviously it holds the girls up better and everything it's super stretchy so it's easy to move in the sleeves are a little big so what my friend did on saturday was attached a hair tie here at the bottom and we kind of rolled them up um it kind of adds to the look by just like rolling them up because they have cute little ruffles here on the bottom and then it's not really long enough to tuck in so with the shorts that i wore them with on saturday it was hard to stay tucked in it didn't look good like tucked out not tucked but it did not look good when i untucked it untucked that's the word and so i just tried it on with obviously this little skirt that i have um it's like a little black envelope skirt and i love it way better and i like it untucked too so that works out a lot better and now i know to always wear that with this um or maybe another pair of black bottoms i just don't like the way that it looked so much with the mom jeans now that i'm trying it with other options in my room so um but I definitely would recommend this. I think I would size down because this is a lar an extra large and I definitely could have gone in a large, maybe even a medium. The sleeves are like so baggy and for like mesh shirts, you, you want it to be tight. Like if it looks baggy, it just looks a little weird. That's just my opinion, but you have the picture and the clip right here to let you know, I guess, make that decision for yourself. All right, next up we have some swimsuits. So I'm actually going to link a picture right here i did a try on tuesday at target um right before we all went into quarantine so i haven't been able to do one yet but i fell in love with this white bathing suit that had like a little belt and i got tons of compliments on it so i was like do i go back and get that bathing suit like i don't know like i didn't really like the way i looked in it but i got so many compliments on it i'm like i think i'm just being too harsh on myself um but i saw an almost identical one on shein and I was like, whatever. These bathing suits are seriously, guys, like, so cheap. There's, like, no way you can pass them up. And I don't mean cheap, like, the material. This is, like, real swimsuit material. I love all my bathing suits from Shein. I really do. I've never had a problem um, other than sizing, which is just the way that it goes. It's just hit or miss sometimes, you know, ordering online, especially having a weird body. Not that I have a weird body, but I have weird sizing, like I've said. So, anyways, getting off track here. Um, I found this one for like under 20 bucks and you know target is gonna sell you like each piece for like 20 bucks so i'm like why don't i just get this you know ashi and it looks just the same and i'm sure that i will love it sure enough i did so now i don't have to go back and find that one at target and pay 40 dollars for it i have one from shein and i think it's so cute so here are the bottoms and then the top is literally identical it goes straight across and it just goes right over the shoulder this is a extra large if i didn't say so already i do nanny full time and i wanted to get suits that i felt comfortable in and that were like full coverage for the pool which now i don't even know if we're going to be going to the pool because of coronavirus but just in case i now have 
bathing suits that are not made for spring break 2019 and all of the years of college that I went to Florida. Here is another bathing suit. This is like really cute because it's a one piece. Um, but it has like the cutouts here, so it's kind of like a one piece, but it's not a one piece. I don't know if there's a certain name for these, but super cute. This is a extra large. Now here is, I'm just going to talk about sizing really quick one more time. What size am I? Like seriously, I don't know what the deal is, but, um, the only reason that I ever have an issue with Shein is always just because of a size or I picked the wrong size or oh they're out of my size so I'm gonna go down I'm sure that'll fit mm -mm, not gonna happen um so here I'm gonna show you the back really quick it's super cute because it's cut out all the way down I'm barely gonna show you the clip of me in it because it is too small so um like I said I did get the extra large I would look maybe and see if they have this in the curve if you're like in the same boat as me um what I always like to do is click on the picture that I like if they don't have it in my size. If you scroll down, it'll give you almost exact duplicates of like a different pattern or a different color. And then it'll suggest like if they have it in a, you know, a better size for you. Actually, I actually have one other suit that I do want to show you because I ordered it, but I am not showing you what I look like in it because it is way too extremely small. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's super cute. It is like cross in the front like this here. So it crosses in the front, just goes over the shoulder. And then the bottoms go like, they have like this to go kind of like, you know, halfway up the stomach. I'm gonna insert the picture of the model so that you get the point. Um, but what I will tell you about this one is that it was probably two sizes too small for me and it's an extra large. They do have a decent um, check my size like tab that if you enter in what you are in other brands and stuff, It'll give you like a good feel for what you are in Shein size, but I'm not really sure what Shein size is because as you can see, it is very hit or miss. I really do enjoy Shein and I will continue to order offline from them. You just have to be prepared for that like hit or miss, you know, type of situation because that's like super cute and it's made really well. It just doesn't fit. So then last but not least, I am not going to show you me in these either because they're pajamas. <laughs> Um, but these are super cute and worked out super well. The bottoms are actually in the washing machine right now. So I'm going to insert the clip of the model since I'm not showing you a video of me wearing them. Um, they're just like a super cute little, okay, it's an extra large for reference. It just says like, love you to the moon in the back, more than all the stars in the sky. It's just like a really cute, like little nightie. Um, so it fits perfectly. I love my nightwear to be like extra large, like extra, extra large, the larger the better, just because, um, I hate wearing like tight things to bed. I get really hot and it's just like uncomfortable and you're like trying to sleep. So, um, I probably could have sized down, like if I was going to wear them for like a date party or something where you have like pajama theme and I wanted to fit better and like actually look super cute in it, then I probably would have done a large but the extra large fit perfect for my like oversized needs. This is my first time getting pajamas off Shein. I actually had a couple different sets in my cart and I was like, I'm just gonna get one of them and if they work, then maybe I'll just start ordering pajama sets off them because I am like that person that wears big t-shirts to bed and I never look cute at like sleepovers. And um, I'm like, why don't I have any cute sets? So I think I might start getting my sets off there. Also, it came with this super cute little like eye sleeper thingy which I do not wear I do not partake in these they scare me a little bit I don't really want my eyes to be like restricted or anything while I am in a slumber I don't know why I just have a fear of them but super cute and it'd be really cute for the picture I'm going to take for Instagram other than that I basically got an eyelash curler which works perfectly fine perfectly normal just like any other eyelash curler I think it was two bucks so if you're ever thinking of makeup items or just like anything extra that looks good and is cheap enough to kind of like, you know, take that risk, then my suggestion would just be to do it. All right, guys, that is it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely will have more coming, but leave a comment below if you want me to try out another online store. I, like I said, really do like Shein. This is like my third or fourth order from them, but definitely recommend them. I have never ordered from Zaffle or like any of those like Boohoo, anything that's like recently been, you know, popular and I have been wanting to get a few other things. I'm just like not a huge online shopper person. I never have been. I think it's because my mom like isn't really either and we've just never done like online shopping. I usually go in and try things on but now it's so tricky because of like coronavirus and quarantine and everything and like stores are like you can't try things on and then you can't return them so it's like I don't really want to go in and like 
buy something and then not be able to return it. I'm actually like in a rut right now with Target because I couldn't try something on. It doesn't fit, of course, and I can't return it right now. So I'm like totally like... I do want to branch out a little more with online shopping, so leave a comment below if you really like a store that you want me to try, or maybe one that you're skeptical about a little bit, and I would love to try it out for you, order a couple things. As long as you guys continue to come back and watch, I'm totally down to try new things, and I'm getting really excited for the rest of my content. I finally made a schedule. I have finally made, like, lists of what I want to get done, what I want to film, um, what I want to put out there for you guys, and I'm getting super excited. I also just got approved for my apartment. Thank goodness. Um, love my parents, but I'm getting back out of here. I'm sure they're just as excited um, as I am for that freedom. I am moving in the end of June, so definitely expect some movement vlogs, some apartment tours, room tours, decorating. I don't even know what I'm gonna do, but I love watching other people decorate their interiors, and I know that I would have a lot of fun like vlogging that, and I love seeing transformations and stuff, so. I definitely plan to have that out for there for you guys as well. Okay, so I'm finally letting you guys go. Um, thank you so much for checking this video out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below so that I can check you guys out as well. Until next time, peace and blessings.